Hello, my children. Hey, and how was everybody's Christmas and New Year's? Well, I haven't been too well. No, the doc was back to the house. It seems my pneumonia is back. Yep, my pneumonia has come back. I'm a little worn out, a little bit tired. It's knocking the heck out of me. But I'll beat it again. Oh, let me tell you something about having pneumonia. <laughs> You're going to love this. Do not take the cough syrup if you can help it. It's like the Alexia from hell, if you'll excuse the expression. It tastes so bad. It is to die from instead of for. <laughs> really bad. Really, really bad. You don't need the birth tonight. No, you want to know why? She laid three eggs. Yes, my baby's having too much sex. She, she laid three eggs. Count one, two, three. My baby laid three eggs this week. Every other day she had one. I love her to death, but she's a killer. Oh, but let me tell you, the boy bird is the worst killer. Don't leave her alone for anything. Anyway. I'm calling because of all you wonderful, marvelous people who watched Mrs. Claus during the holiday. I am very happy for all the comments I've made. I am delighted. I love all of you for being so very kind and nice. Um, I hope you had your children there. I hope they enjoyed it. I really do. It was meant for them to enjoy. Not just to hear somebody read, but for somebody to let them know that they're being watched and seen and that they were all good. Yeah. And to let them know there's three parts to Santa's village. <laughs> yeah, a little, little trivia. Anyway, I love you all for watching, believe me. Even now, a few people are still watching. And it amazes me, it really does. To see, it, it, it amazes me the comments, the, the amount of people who watch. And you know what's more interesting? The topics they listen, they want to hear. Really, this is, this really baffles me. Yeah, I talk about everything. But guess what? Guess who's coming back on? Yes, they are mm -hmm. the biggest losers. You know how wild I am about them, anybody who watches my videos. Well, I got to tell you, even though I have pneumonia, even though I got pneumonia, and I'm on prednisone, and I'm on dyslexia from hell, oh, bad stuff tastes terrible, wicked, wicked, wicked. Like this wicked old lady. Wicked, wicked, wicked. Anyway. Doc says I gotta go for another 28 days, all this medicine. I guess him he was trying to kill me. <laughs> he said, no, make me better. I said I didn't believe him. <laughs> and I don't. <laughs> Anyhow. I got, uh, uh, more medicines I have to pick up tomorrow. But, Running out of a little loot here. Christmas, you know, and all that other stuff. Anyhow. Um, what was that? Oh. I love you all. I hope you kids enjoyed it. Didn't get too many comments, but that's okay. I, I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Um, the topics. You know, sometimes I get on here... And I give you topics of something that somebody requested or asked for. But, uh, I have to tell you, last year was a tough year. Yeah, lost seven people I love very much. And guess what, it's not stopping. 
No. Uh, Christmas Day. Lost another friend in the morning. And uh, yesterday morning, lost another friend. So the count is up to nine. Yeah, it seems to be get catching on to be the thing. <laughs> it's my age group, you know. Anywhere between 60 and 100. <laughs> Maybe I got a few years to go. But, uh, oh, I have to tell you something cute. My sister called me, and she wanted to remind me that most of the women in our family die in our 60s. <laughs> uh, I thanked her. I hung up the phone and told her how much I hated her. <laughs> These are not things we want to be reminded of around the holidays. No, you see, because when I go, I want to go on a beautiful, sunny, nice day. Yeah. Well, you know what? I told my son, getting buried is so much money. Oh, my God, do I know how much money it is. So what I did was I told my son, nobody visits you in a cemetery no more. I said, so when they call you up and they find your name in the house, you go, you look, you make sure I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, you make sure I'm dead. And then you tell them you don't know me. And let the city bury me because I don't have any insurance. I don't want it to cost him an arm and a leg and be in debt. To just come, say, mm, nice lady, but not my mom. And then go do your thing. I really did tell him that. It's the only way to get buried cheap. Honest. I mean, the last time I heard ten thousand dollars to bury somebody. Uh, the caskets are made of gold or what? I mean, come on, ten thousand dollars. You got to be kidding. My girlfriend went and asked about her brother-in-law, and she said, what's the cheapest box you can find? The man actually told her, $4,000 is the cheapest box you can get. In a couple of years, that won't even be $4,000. So let me tell you nice people out there something. Since I'm going through this tizzy of debt here, ah, uh, you know what? Pay for your funeral before you die. Take care of everything. Everything you want to take care of. Yeah, pay it off to the funeral parlor, whatever. Get it done so you don't leave anybody any bills. Honest. Not worth it. You got an insurance policy that's up. Take it out. Give it to the funeral parlor. And pick out what you want. And that's it. It's easier on everybody. Anyway, back to the holidays. I hope all of you got what you wanted for Christmas. And I hope you all had a great New Year's. I really do. My New Year's was spent right where I am. <laughs> but I loved it. I really did. I loved it. Nice, quiet, watch the ball come down. You know, they really do a lousy job on that ball. They used to do it real good. But now you don't see the 209. And the, you barely get to see it come down. And before you know it, it's off the screen. Yeah, unless you're on 42nd Street, it's not the same. But I'll be damned, I spent my days on 42nd Street watching the ball no more. <laughs> anyway, my children, my time is running out. And I love you all very much. So please, have a wonderful year this year. And enjoy your children, friends, family, folks you admire, okay? Love you and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, sweeties.